My fellow citizens, we have reached a crucial juncture, a moment in time, an important, dare I say, epoch defining part of our shared story. And I ask now that you listen to me as you prepare to go to the polls, as you ready yourself to vote in what will be a pivotal election. Because I want you to understand what you're voting for, what you're fighting for, and what you're fighting against. That's why I'm here to show my political opponents that there is no other choice, no logical decision, other than to vote Kalia. They believe you, the people, can be swayed by appealing to your fears, your prejudice, your insecurities. But I think so much more of you than that. You're so much better than that, too good, too smart to fall for petty tricks that others think will work. No amount of celebrity endorsements or business supporters will change that. No, you're more than that because you can think of a better world. You can think of a world where you used your vote for good. For something not just you want, but that everyone wants. And I am here to give you that world. To give everyone that world. All it takes is one simple action, one simple vote. But you know, not everyone is convinced yet, and I need everyone on board. I need every single person who's of voting age to register and give me the victory. To give me that vote, because I can give you more. The other candidates want to take from you, but I only want to give. I want to give you happiness, purpose, pleasure, bliss. I offer a better world, a utopia, heaven on earth. If you only take my hand and follow me into the future. Are you ready? Let me explain how the world really works. Forget what my political rivals have told you to score points in this petty contest. Because we are above all of that. Every day you go out and work to line the pockets of the greedy to help a political system built for the wealthy. But there is a better way. There are better things to work for. To live for. Not money, not things, no. For lust and love and happiness and intimacy. Closeness. You know my agenda. You know what I believe in. You know I just want all your needs fulfilled. So listen to me now, all of you. I know everyone is watching this. I know this is being broadcast the world over. I know everyone is listening. So listen carefully. Listen closely. This is crucial. This is the most important moment, the most important thing in the world right now. I don't need you to do anything but listen. In fact, close your eyes. Just focus on the words I say. Nothing else matters. Nothing else is important. Only what I say. There are always so many voices in this world. So many distractions. But you can tune them out. Like there were other channels on the TV, tune them out. You might think about what others have to say, forget it. You might think about how things look, tune it out, tune it all out. Imagine it now, turning the dial on your television. Imagine it now, turning the dial on your television. Like some old ancient sage from the fabled past, these feeble political types claim were somehow better when they should be looking to the future, our future. Turn the dial, turn it past all the noise, the static, the incessant buzz of life and political talk and media spin. Tune it out and focus it. Turn it until, instead of that, you see me. See me standing resplendent on a platform delivering my victory address to an adoring crowd who hang on my every word. A crowd of worshippers and adoring voters who choose me. Who joined a collective, a movement, looking for a better tomorrow, and not clinging to some imagined past. Because I know we made progress before, and we've lost that. I know we were free before, and we lost that. Our rights pushed back when they should have been driving forward. So I want you to tune your mind to me now. See that old crackling TV set and see me on it in your mind. See me crackling and then the picture clearing, sharpening, until the image of me in your mind grows into glorious 4K. 
until you see every detail, the blue of my eyes, the moistness of my lips, until you can see me and nothing else, because nothing else matters. Nothing but me, you, and this moment. You know it's important, you know this, and you accept it, don't you? Say yes, Kalia. That's right, just saying yes, Kalia, feeling so right, so normal, so important. It's important to listen to me and understand what I, what we, are trying to achieve, isn't it? That's right, it is. And we're going to do it. All it takes is that vote, that most revolutionary of actions, to choose better, to choose someone who will give you freedom. And if you listen now, listen to me closely, you'll understand fully why you should do that. But first I need you to understand that there is a path we are travelling now. And it leads to the corridors of power. To doors we must kick in to enact the change we want. Follow me now. Follow me through this corridor. A long corridor with a red carpet along the floor. On the walls are portraits of important people from the past. And along the way to a large mahogany door at the other end with a number one on it. There are 20 other doors. And we must pass through them and remove those barriers in each one to taking power, to seizing control. Walk with me now and you'll find that as we move closer to that number one, that behind the door is the depths of your subconscious mind, of the minds of everyone listening now to this important moment in time. But first we start at the edges of your mind and door 20, where there is doubt and we open the door and let it flee away, back the way we came, out of your mind. And at 19, we open the door on the other side of the corridor beside the portrait of a man you recognize from a history book. And stress leaves the room and heads out, leaving your mind completely. Free of doubt and stress now when we continue past door 18, opening it and freeing your mind from insecurity. No, we don't need that now. We only need to feel happy in our own skin. Isn't that right? Yes, yes it is. And at 17, we release the latch and out comes worries. No more worries now. Worries flee your mind and you start to feel calmer, lighter as you stride confidently forward. Forward to the future. At 16, we open the door and we watch anxiety slip away now. No longer needed in this corridor in your mind. This corridor of power within that you allow to be filled with these negative emotions by other candidates. Intent on using fear to divide us. But together we are stronger. All you've needed is a leader who can unite, not divide. So at 15, we open the door and let go of prejudice and accept that all are equal now, that a vote for Kalia is a vote for equality, mutual understanding. And at 14, we walk forward and open the door. We release hate. We don't need to hate anyone. All you need is love, after all. Isn't that right? And you say, yes, Kalia, like a good voter for me. Now at 13, you can open that door in your mind and let go of tension. No need to have any tension now. You can simply allow your mind and body to relax. Relax and feel the complete lack of worry and stress and tension guide you forward. Into a state of peace, of bliss. And at 12, you know that you can open the door and release your inhibition. Release the idea that any of this is bad, that you should feel worried what anyone will think. Everyone will soon think the same thing, will think that pleasure is all they need. At 11, you can open the door and release shame. There is no shame in our future, no shame in our sexuality, our fetishes, our kinks. We embrace ourselves and one another. At 10, you can let go of your guilt, you don't need to feel it anymore. You can feel pride knowing that you made the right choice in me, that you choose Kalia, the person who will usher in the brightest of futures. Now at nine, we let go of anger. We don't feel anger at those who differ from us. No, we are one, united, a collective of like-minded souls who only want to share in the pleasure of following me, of listening to me. And at eight, you can walk forward closer to that center where all of your negative emotions will be gone. And you will open the door to reveal the most important thing to let go. And you will release it from your mind. 
But first we open to our eight and let go of jealousy because all are equal under me. All are equally seeking pleasure. Opening door number seven, you can let go of sadness now. There is no sadness in our future. Only bliss and joy. The ecstasy of pleasure shared. And behind door number six, as you open it, you can see loneliness vanish. Because when we all unite in our search for pleasure, there is never a reason to be alone. I am always with you. Always guiding your actions and your thoughts. Always inside your mind. At door number five, you can watch rejection disappear because no one is other with me. No one is left out. This is a collective for all, a hive mind of unified thought and need and want. So there is no rejection. You always have a place with me, under me. Thanks for listening. To hear the full version of this audio, subscribe at patreon.com slash Mistress